In this episode, I will tell you how to write bulletproof API clients in JavaScript using test-driven development. We will use Axios, a popular library performing API calls. But a more interesting part will be unit tests, where we will use NOC, server mocking and expectation library. As usual, code for the cast is available on GitHub and the text version is published on our blog. Check out the links in the comments below. Let's have a look at our example project. In package.json file, there is just one test command. We've already set up Mocha to test all the files with extension spec.js. And there are two empty files, one for tests and one for the actual implementation. If you don't know how to set up test environment, check out episode two. We will create a simple GitHub API client which will fetch issues for a given repository. We are doing test-driven development, so let's write the test first. Let's use expect assertion from try library, which I already installed, and import a client library we will soon create. Next, start with the describe section, name it client, and describe our constructor. Basically, it should create API property, which will be access instance. When we go to the access documentation page, we see that there is a create factory method and access instance has a get method. So let's test if it exists. Go back to the editor and create the first test case. Name it accordingly. and create the client instance. Of course, the first letter of the client class name should be capitalized, so let's fix that. Now write the expect block. To test if the get method exists, we will use itself response to assertion. We will add repo name as a parameter to the constructor so all consecutive API requests will be done for this repo. And send this to JSCast episode 1 in tests. The client should store this property, so let's test that as well. Run tests. And they fail because there is nothing in client.js file. So let's implement our constructor. Add Axios first. And create a new class. Define the constructor and add the repo name as a parameter. Now initialize API property using the axios create function. As for the base URL, we will use GitHub API, but put it to the const. We also have to store repo name for further usage. Let's do that. And export the class. Now we run the tests and it works. So we performed our first TDD loop. Next thing will be to implement the method called getIssues, which will fetch all the issues for a given repo. In order to test that, we will use NOC, HTTP Server Mocking and Expectations Library. Install it first. Now let's enter the node console to perform some test calls with Axios. We will use experimental REPL await flag. If you want to know more about REPL, check out episode 11. Load Axios and fetch issues for a JSCast episode 1. I will paste the address. Let's take a look at the response and its length. 
we see that there is one issue. Ok, now let's incorporate NOC to our project. Require it first. Let's use it to record the request to GitHub API, so that we can use it in our test later on. So run the recorder. Now we can perform exactly the same command, but NOC prints the code which we can use as a response in tests. Copy this to a separate file to spec folder. Create new folder and put the nox.js file. Export the getIssues function and inside return the copied code. I will turn on the wrap text in the editor. This knock command specifies that all the get requests passed to this URL should be intercepted and returned as a response with code 200 and this body, which is the actual list with one issue. Let's move this out to a separate JSON file. Name it get issues response. Require it on the top. Create the file and paste the code there. Prettify it. And we see that there is an exact one issue in the JSON form returned by the API. Go back to the Nox.js file. The third property are the returned headers of the response. We won't use them in tests, so let's remove them. Now modify the mocking function to take repo as a parameter. We are almost ready, but let's fix the path to get issues response JSON file. Now create our test, but first without using NOC. Let's describe the getIssues function. In before all filter, set up the test subject. We will write two tests, first specifying that there is just one issue. Add async because the function will be asynchronous. Now write the expectation. And of course add await. Go to the JSON file. Let's check if the first issue has a title containing example issue number one. Write a second test case. Similar, it will be an async function. Store the response in a variable. And test the first item. OK. Go back to the client.js file and implement this method. Create response const. Now use the access instance we created in the constructor to fetch issues. Put the repo name into the URL. Add await 
and return data from that response. There is a typo, so let's fix that. Escape node and clear terminal. Run tests and we see they pass. But obviously we cannot leave it like that for at least two reasons. One, those tests are taking a super long time. And second, when someone adds an issue to the GitHub repo, the entire test will fail. So now let's change that by using knock. First, require it on the top of our spec.js file. And below, disable all real API calls. Do this with disable net connect function. We run the test again. And we see net connect not allowed error, which says that our tests are trying to access the real API. Okay, so now let's intercept the request by the function we previously defined. Require it. and rename to start get issues. Now use it in before each hook. It returns the request stop. Let's store it because you might want to use it later on. Pass repo name and save it. Run the tests. There is an error in Nox.js file. I forgot to require Nox, so let's fix that. We run tests one more time. Perfect, it runs super fast and everything goes from our recorded responses. Okay, this was all. Now I encourage you to check out the Nox documentation page. It is an amazing tool and has a lot of interesting features. I hope you liked this episode. If you did, subscribe to the channel and see you next time.